So you have a you you have a fund that people can invest in for mm -hmm. your correct. storage. Is that correct? How how mm -hmm. many units, self storage units, do you have at this point? Or I should call them stores, right? Yeah, stores or facilities, uh, interchangeable. We're um we're selling eight this year, and we're buying a whole bunch more. We're right at that forty mark. We kind of hover right around there. Um, wow. and we've been as high as forty five facilities. We're back down to like forty one right now. Um, but getting ready to close on another one at the end of this uh, month. But also probably selling another one at the end of this month as uh, as well. So uh, yeah, the goal next year is um you know look at larger opportunities, doing fewer deals but larger opportunities, and putting them into our fund. We still do. We syndicate and do private equity projects on um, single asset, single entity um, facilities uh, by way of a capital raise. But then we also do have a fund, which we're putting a lot of uh, value add facilities, um, class C, smaller facilities, value add, where we can create value and either sell or roll up into a portfolio and sell off. That is the goal of our, our, our self-storage growth fund. Now, does that fund, fund, it fund have an end date to it or is it more it of does. an effort? fund okay yeah this is a this is a five-year fund that we've um set and um i think before long we're uh, um probably quicker than we assumed we were going to be starting our second fund as well and that uh, may look a little bit different than a growth fund uh, as well but uh, you know we we acquire existing facilities turn around value adds we develop from the ground up we convert facilities as well so we do all things and so as we look at our next fund um you know we may look at things just a little bit differently but um yeah it is uh, this one is close ended uh, ends in uh, 5 years and then uh, but in the meantime we'll definitely be starting number 2 and perhaps another one after that are there certain parts of the country that you <laughs> like than others at this point yeah the warm ones yeah <laughs> then i get to go visit the sites <laughs> um yeah. all, all that said yeah that's i mean we, we've seen the migration you know we, we know the states where everybody's going to um partly um for political reasons but then also always in many of those states uh, because of uh, the weather i mean uh, the, the coast um now minus california everybody's going the opposite direction out of there but uh, we like Texas um, a lot. We like Florida a lot. We certainly like the Carolinas um, and um, buying and selling very actively down there um, as well. Tennessee has also been a hotbed for us, um, but still do own facilities um, up in Michigan, where I uh, used to be from and here in the Midwest. So, although funny thing is you know, we've got these roughly 40 plus facilities and we've got 15,000 doors all across the country. And guys, I don't have one wow. facility or one unit in my home state. I, if I wanted to store something in one of my facilities, I'd have to fly it fly my stuff somewhere to do so <laughs> so we don't have anything around here right now which is odd but um phoenix arizona you know, and uh all, all the you can always places. rent <laughs> you can always rent somebody else <laughs> I, I i love the word rent but not not when i'm on the receiving end of it or <laughs> I say the giving end of it how's that <laughs> so th th thanks for that tip bill but that, that ain't me we own it <laughs>